Have you ever wanted to stop time? I haven't figured that out yet, but I can make it look like time has stopped. Come check it out. A time fountain is a really cool device that makes it look like you're manipulating water forward and backward in time. It's really cool, and I'm just gonna have to show you. A little warning about today's project, we are mixing water with electricity, which is never a good idea. So don't try this at home. Also, if you're photosensitive, we're gonna be having some strobe lights in here, so be careful of that. The time fountain has a few main elements. Uh, we've got the lower pan here, which is our reservoir. It's gonna hold most of our water. We do have an upright piece, which just gives us distance between the lower reservoir, then we have a smaller upper reservoir. We also have a piece that juts out here where we're gonna put all of our LED lights. And those lights are what's gonna make it look like we are manipulating time. Now to create the fountain, I've just inside this pan here, I have used an upright piece of plastic. It's ABS plastic. I got it from a plastics distributor just right down the street. Now I just used some Gorilla Glue, some clear construction glue, and stuck that down on the inside of the pan and let that cure for a couple of days and it holds really strong. After I put in the upright piece, I also had to add LEDs into a panel in kind of a hexagonal pattern. Might be difficult to see, but I've taken all the long sides, soldered them together with the jumper wire going to the next set of long sides. And of course, we've still got our resistors, which I have to tie in. And what we want is we want the water drop to come down in the middle of that pattern so that a droplet of water gets light from all sides evenly. This piece, to be able to hang on here, we're just gonna use these metal braces and drill holes right in the side and that's gonna hold it nice and tight. So we'll set this on. Most of what I'm looking for here is just making sure that my LED lights don't get covered up and that if something drips straight out of the middle here, it's still nice and in the center of that pan. So I'm just going ahead and putting these two in here so that's gonna hold everything stable. So now this looks nice and solid and we get on to the next piece. At the local plastics company I visited, they had this really weird mold here that just happens to fit right over this. So I figured maybe I could use it. I'm gonna to need to install this little pump in the basin down here so it can pump water up into the upper basin. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drill a hole in the side up here towards the top and just have this hose come through here, point slightly downward, and hopefully the pressure from this pump won't cause it to spray out. I don't think it will, but we're gonna find out. Got our pump going, starting to fill up our basin. Now the issue here is that this is going to overflow. So we've got to create an overflow system. What we're gonna need here is a piece of PVC or similar pipe coming from just under the top lip here, just barely below that, so that when the water flows up to that level, it'll just pour right down the pipe and we'll just bring it right back down into this basin. I've built some circuitry here that is gonna control the strobing of our LED lights that are all right in here. And we're gonna be able to adjust those via these two little dials here. These are potentiometers. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna help us control the strobing of these LED lights and give us that time slowing, stopping, and reversing effect. All right, we've got a 10K and a 1K potentiometer. Put the 10 on top, awesome. Cut this off. There we go. We'll just strip this back and then we can connect those. And this thing will connect into the same spot and then just bring it down and be able to plug it in. And then your fountain will start working. As we can see, hot glue is not going to work. It is great to adhere it quickly, but it does not stay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a little bit more hot glue just to get it to hold in place. I'm also going to use some of this Gorilla Glue and we're going to stick that on there. We're gonna leave it till tomorrow for it to cure. We're also gonna put Gorilla Glue inside here where we've got our overflow drain and hold that in place. And then we'll get back and test this thing tomorrow. There's just a little bit more we can do while we're waiting for everything to cure. We can tie all our resistors together and then we can wire all of our lights back to our circuitry panel over here. Everything is wired up. We just have a few more things to do while we're waiting for glue to dry. I bought one of these. This is quarter inch tubing attached to a landscape stake and it has a valve in it. And this is really important. You really need that valve. All we're gonna do is get rid of that. And now we've got exactly what we need. We're gonna drill a hole right in the center of all of our lights so that we can pop this hose straight down and it can drip for us 
and we can control with the valve exactly how much water is getting through so we can control that flow rate. We're gonna bring the rest of this tube into our reservoir and we're gonna let the pressure of the water that's sitting in there push down and push the water through our tube and then down and out our hole to give us our drip. <laughs> I'm so excited, we're so close. So all I'm gonna do is while this is down here, I'm gonna set something heavy right on the end and I'm gonna put some glue under it and then hopefully when we come back tomorrow, that thing will be nice and stuck and we'll be ready to kick this thing on. I am building a platform for our water drop to land on for the time fountain so that we have additional things to look at rather than it just splashing into a pool of water, which also looks really cool, but we just want more opportunities to see different cool things. So I've got this thing laid down on its back because I decided that I wanted to hide the view of all the wires from whoever is standing in the front. Just kind of makes it look better. We're nearly there, we've got everything ready. We're just going to do two things. One is we're gonna cut open this highlighter because we want the guts of this thing to put in the water. It makes the water UV reactive. Our LEDs right here are all UV lights. And so when we turn the lights off, we flash these UV LEDs, the water's gonna glow. It's gonna give us a really cool effect. So now all we're gonna test is make sure the pump works, it fills up the water to here, and our drain is working appropriately. So we're literally just cycling water back and forth. And that's also going to mix our UV reactive highlighter ink into the water so that our, all of our water is saturated with it. And so we've got a steady drip rate and all we have to do now is adjust our strobing lights to that drip so that it hits, every time they strobe, it hits this new drop in the same spot every time. The issue we're running into is I forgot to seal the hole where this pipe comes in to push water into the reservoir. And so it's leaking out the side but if I cut our drain tube just a little lower, then it's gonna eliminate that problem. I'll probably just use a little hot glue and seal that up for now. What a mess. <laughs> uh, it feels so weird, like it actually is a very strange sensation. And let's plug this pump back in. So the water level in the reservoir has to get higher than the highest loop of our drip hose right here before we'll actually start dripping. I'm still a little worried about all the texture on this ABS is not letting it drain off the front as quickly and so it's, I don't know, maybe I should add a nice smooth section as well. So we'll have two spots uh, where the water can drip and we can see the results. The pump is working, filling it up, yeah. I love the color of this water, it makes me happy. Sweet, and that's draining off really well. We can also catch it right on the lip there and we'll be able to see some cool cinematic effects there. So when we gotta start getting serious, we're gonna turn off lights and we're gonna adjust the strobe and we're gonna see if we can catch this thing in action here. Oh, look at that. Do you see it? It's just slowly easing its way down. Oh wow, it's at the splash. You can see the splash over and over again. And then I'm gonna suck the splash back up. Isn't that amazing? Catching that on camera though, that's the trick. We're gonna cause this drop to fall. There we go, it's falling, falling, falling. It splashes and I'm gonna suck it back up. Here it goes, there we go. Now it's going back up. I wanna see if I can get it to freeze. Here we go. I can kinda like play with it on my finger there. And it like bounces around. <laughs> Now we got it, mostly frozen. It's still moving, yeah. So the, the water continually changes its drip rate just so slightly. That is neat to kind of see the effect that gravity has on a drop of water in just this, what, 12 inches of space. That's wild. So here we go, it's about to coalesce. And it comes right off the tip of that thing. That is so cool. <laughs> That's just neat, it just like reforms. It like sucks it off the comb. Oh, it's hovering. That's awesome. That is a solid hover, too. <laughs> it's, I think it's slowly going up. Wow, that is so slow. And you can tell by where the water drops show up, because there's more yeah. space between them here than there is up here, that they are falling faster by the time they hit the bottom. We can observe the effect of gravity over just that tiny amount of distance. Whoa, look at the ripples. 
Thank you for joining me today for this totally unique project. When I first saw this, it blew my mind. Big thanks to my friend Tyler for showing me how to build this. As always, like, comment, and subscribe. And remember, let the random happen. Follow me next time. No, no, that's job. Uh, ah. Okay, let's open the glue. Oh my gosh, this thing's stronger than I am. Boy, I look silly doing this. <laughs> Looks like I've never done this before. You could probably spawn the Ninja Turtles in this. Thank you for joining me today for this thingy. <laughs> it's gonna miss the bucket. Uh, <laughs> ah! Okay, that worked out pretty well. <laughs>